have the Bills turned it around? Uh, I mean, they need they they needed this one bad, and we were saying this yesterday during the game. Are they the best team in the AFC right now? I like because mm-hmm. I don't see a team in the AFC that you know you want to say the Ravens. People are going to laud that you know their performance yesterday. I saw a team that's still working through some things offensively. Okay, you're gonna say oh they scored thirty something points. Yeah, they punt return for a touchdown and two blown coverages. The deep balls are sprayed all over the place. I think they're still working on the Mark Andrews thing. Miami's still got to beat somebody good. You know, I might say Miami's the best team in the AFC if they just start beating good teams. Right. Uh, and then and then you look at Kansas City. They're wounded. They're imperfect. Jacksonville. Um, I actually am not going to be that down on them. I actually feel better about the Jags yesterday after yesterday, Rich, because, because that's a tough place to play. How many people are scoring 30 points or close to it? on the Browns at home mm-hmm. and Lawrence actually didn't look that bad, but I do think the bills, if they slide in, nobody wants to play that team because the defense is starting to play a little bit better and uh, they're starting to learn how to play with each other. Whereas a month ago, you know, it was like, Oh man, all these new pieces. And um, I think, I think Dorsey being gone was probably the right decision. Although McDermott tried to lose that game yesterday, the <laughs> clock management at the end of it, was like insane dude well that's the whole point with bills fans and that that was the the issue all week long was you know the the ty dunn written deep dive on mcdermott and his um his personality and what's going on behind the scenes for the last several years and poor choice there you know choice sean you know i mean good lord um and he apparently apologized for it then and then he apologized for it again now and then it's the it's it's how tidy is at the end of games and how the teams feel it, which is why the Bills lose close ones and things of that nature. But hey, they won it yesterday, which is why the the headline of the uh, the Buffalo news kind of you know um, hit it directly on the head. The headline was "Shake It Off," um, which is a, a nice little nod. Uh, Taylor Swift, who, I know that who was uh, once again in the stands for uh, the boy who's karma on the Chiefs. You know, and oh so so the, so they're they're kind of that's the whole thing is just like who are the who the hell are the Bills and and with you saying that it's a wide they're Josh open, Allen and but he's right he's as good as as good as Josh un- Allen plays yeah. that's how far as they can go that play on the sideline right to Murray some of these QB runs yeah. when he is good there is nobody better when he is like when he is peak peak Josh Allen I don't know if there's a guy that that I mean Mahomes right. But outside of that, like yeah. I gotta look, I gotta look real hard at at peak Josh Allen. Now it's the one pick he did throw one yesterday. It's it's uh, some of these turnovers, but they've been down since uh, Brady took over, and I, I I really am bullish on them because now they gotta they gotta they they just can't afford to lose more than one game. They still have Dallas and Miami. If they go to Miami with everything on the line, how do you not like them? Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.